Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Um, for those of you who watched my other videos on charity and donating to cancer, um, we had a live stream the other night, and during the live stream, we raised $300, which is awesome. I can't believe that we raised $300. I want to thank you guys so much for that. Um, our team was able to raise enough to compete, um, and uh, my coworker and I actually rode 60 miles on our bike um, <clears throat> at the event, so that's awesome. Uh, it was an awesome event. They raised like shoot, I don't know, almost $2 million to help with cancer research and um, all that kind of funding and whatnot locally. So uh, that's awesome. I just wanted to announce that to you guys uh, at the beginning of this video because it was really important to me and I was so happy to see all of y'all's participation in it. Um, but right now we are going to be playing on our Clash Without Walls account. And guys, pretty soon I'm going to be trying to post daily. Um, I know that I haven't done that recently. I'm going to try and post daily and maybe even two times a day for you guys because um, I haven't done that that much lately and it's the summertime and honestly I just want to give back to you guys. So I'm probably going to be posting a lot of Clash Without Walls because as I'm more active in it I'm going to be able to upgrade more and do all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, and we're going to be pushing on here. I'm going to see if I can push up to... Uh, I don't know. I mean, if I if I just town hall snipe, I can probably get up to masters or something, right? So um, we're gonna start pushing <clears throat> as well. Probably just gonna use archers um, and see how high up I can go, um, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm definitely excited for that. Why don't we go ahead and um, look? You can see here's our <laughs> here's our defense log. Uh, we're not doing too hot, obviously without walls, but um, let's go ahead and watch this one because this guy actually had a full attack. And I was missing my uh, my traps in this one, so um, yeah, I don't know why uh, why he wasn't able to defeat it, especially with that uh, healer that he's about to drop down. Um, you could see it in the army comp earlier, so he's about to take out the air defense, and then he should have dropped the healer right there. When does he drop the healer? Okay, this guy does not know how to use giant healer. Yeah, he's way too late with the healer on that. <laughs> Um, so that's probably why a lot of the damage was taken because right now the heal is distracted um, and it should be focused on all the giants when uh, it's not. So he's at 40% right now, still working his way around the base. My mortar and wizards are doing work, as all the archer towers. Um, so 48% right there and you can see that all he needed to do was take out pretty much one more building and he wasn't able to do it. So <clears throat> we got a pretty good... Uh, amount of trophies from that one. Uh, as you guys can see, I have upgraded this cannon right here, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of three of these trees, see if we can get ourselves some gems. Uh, I cleared out a bunch of stuff earlier and got like 30 gems out of it, so uh, definitely happy about that. We can also research our balloons, but I don't think I'm gonna be using them that much at this point in time. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. Next, I'm going to upgrade my spell factory. I need four uh, 400,000 elixir to do that and then I'll probably upgrade um, another cannon hopefully uh, so let's go ahead and go on the attack and I might do two attacks in this episode depending on um, <clears throat> how well our how well our attacks go alright so you can ah, this one looks full even though these look full as well um, let's see how much is in there so there's not that much. I hate when the graphics wrong. Like, look at that. That thing is absolutely full. All of them are absolutely full. And it's only, it's 20, I'm getting 20 gold from that. Um, I'm not going to, uh, I'll go ahead and drop off a couple of archers on these other buildings since I believe they're all out of range of the defenses. No, not that. And uh, we'll just go ahead and take what we can from this, but since it feels like being stupid. Um, and, and yeah, I guess we'll just let this go by kind of slow. That seems a little bit annoying, though. Let's drop off one more archer on each of these things. Um, and then we'll go back and uh, pick off. <clears throat> we'll get a couple more uh, troops from, the, from our army camps and then go back to work. I guess we're getting an okay amount of... We're getting more elixir than gold, so but that doesn't really make any sense. I don't know why this guy would just collect his gold and not his elixir. Um, but we're definitely going to lose this battle. I don't want to deploy everything. 
um, just because uh, I don't want to. I want to be able to do another attack in this video. Um, and hopefully we can find a raid with 100,000 gold, which I don't think will be a problem. And maybe even find one with 200,000 elixir. That would be perfect. Let's go ahead and surrender right there. Um, we'll return home. We didn't get too much from that, but it was pretty much free. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and boost our barracks as well. Um, and maybe we can even get a third attack in. Let's just do um, a bunch of archers and we're going to do a bunch of barbarians as well. And we're just going to work towards uh, filling our army camps and going after this golden elixir because I really do want to upgrade. Um, I really do want to upgrade my spell factory so that I can have two lightning spells and actually start taking stuff out. Um, let's see how many troops we need. We didn't use any of our wizards or anything, so we need 30 troops. Um, I'm planning on. Let's see. Is this? That's. I still kind of like this base design. We don't have anything left in the shop to get to my knowledge um, besides decorations which I'm not going to spend money on and besides walls they can build this other giant bomb so you know what? why don't we go ahead and do that um, we'll just go ahead and put that right here to protect the mortar um, and I don't think oh yeah I can upgrade that as well but that's just gonna make it cost uh, ugh, 12,000 gold to redo that thing that sucks but I mean I guess that I'll need that if I'm gonna be trophy pushing um, we'll need as much protection that we can get um, but I'm definitely excited to see where this base goes and uh, as I play it more consistently and as we record more consistently it's gonna be more of a series and like episode type thing um, where I'm gonna try and have multiple raids per attack record during the day and whatnot for you guys so that everything just feels a little more fluid there we go so everything is full and we're gonna have the rest of those troops training up and hopefully we can find a base there is a whole bunch of elixir and that's what we're looking for we are looking for elixir right now so let's go ahead and take out this uh, uh, that's gonna be in range of the mortar um, so I'm gonna drop off a couple of archers and then drop off some barbarians right there and then hopefully we'll be able to get into the wall right there and uh, distract the mortars and we'll drop off all of our wizards because we really want to get all of this elixir right here um, hopefully they will go after that mortar right there and the mortar looks like it's about to go down there it goes and we are about to get all of that elixir there's not that much gold um, so I'm not gonna drop any more troops on this one um, because again we got pretty much everything we needed now we just need to find a raid with about 60,000 plus um, elixir and we should be good. So let's go ahead and end that right there. Look at that, 143,000 elixir is really, really good for a single raid like that. How many troops do we need? We need a pretty good amount of uh, troops on this. We just went down to silver three. I don't really care right now. I'm not trophy pushing quite yet. I definitely wanna have my uh, spells upgraded for when we do decide to um, for we do decide to trophy push. I'm not gonna remove any more of those because I want that elixir. What are we at? 87, so we're moving up uh, pretty consistently. Um, but guys, while we wait on that, let's go ahead and talk about my Twitch channel. If you guys haven't been there, I'm gonna be streaming a lot in the future. It's so much fun. I have a lot of fun streaming with you guys. Um, just playing, hanging out, play the guitar. You guys can request music, all this kind of stuff. And if you subscribe, very soon you're going to receive custom um, emoticons that you can use. They're probably going to be of my face, which is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm excited to make those emoticons. I'm going to work on them pretty soon. Um, and then I'm going to do other things like subscriber chat where only the subscribers can hang out and talk to me. I'll answer questions and whatnot. Um, just because my real supporters who can subscribe uh, are going to get a little bit more attention and kind of a reward for their subscribing, obviously. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun for us to just hang out and talk um, and things like that. So let's see what we're at. 118, blah, 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 blah. Next, I think I want to research the wizards again, probably, or the lightning spell. Maybe the lightning spell. Um, just so that as we're trophy pushing we can we can use the lightning spells to help us out because I definitely do think that they will so now these are all empty <laughs> wasn't expecting that to happen so quickly um, 
Well, let's fill this one up so it can train while we're waiting, right? Right. And then lightning spells, uh, or <laughs> lightning spell, what the heck is wrong with me? Uh, archers in that one, and we only need zero more. So we're going to go on the attack, and we are going to find ourselves a base with about 60,000 elixir, or one with a little bit less that we can just pick off, um, and then maybe even have another attack in this uh, episode, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, generally, I don't have to search too long to find good bases um, because there's a lot of people at this level who have just given up their dead bases and whatnot. Um, so that's never too hard. But the funny thing is, down at these low levels, people don't understand that you get a shield from... Here we go. Ah, uh, that's not enough elixir. But I, I'm going to attack this because we'll get a good amount of gold from this from all these collectors and all of this over here and again we're not going to use everything on this I'll go ahead and drop down my wizard um, we're about to get all the gold which is dope let's get some of this elixir right here because it's all going to be free and then pretty soon we are going to only need we're not going to need a big attack at all uh, <clears throat> to fill up the rest of our stuff Shoot, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get some trophies back on this one um, just to get us back up there. And we did. I want them to finish taking out this elixir storage as well. There's not too much in it, but it is going to be the rest of it. They're just taking for freaking ever to get all this elixir. Uh, there we go. And we are done. So we're going to end it right there. And that's not too bad. I'm definitely happy with that. <clears throat> Why don't we go ahead, let's see how many troops we have. So we have 92. Let's just go ahead and go on the attack and see if we can find uh, a base with, I guess, what is it? Uh, 30,000? Yeah, 30,000 elixir just hanging out in the collectors or something. Um, we can even lightning spell some if we need to. But, I mean, we have almost 100 troops. Look at this. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. So we are going to take all of this elixir as well as all of this freaking gold <clears throat> or as much of it as we can and there we go we reached the goal that we needed for the elixir to upgrade the spell factory so that's perfect that's exactly that's exactly what we were looking for with this raid and we got it um, so I'm going to just hang out and it looks like a lot I'm gonna drop this lightning spell right here and see how much gold we can get from those two storages looks like we got about 10,000 gold which isn't too bad um, and that means that we're gonna have enough to upgrade a cannon as well and we should get 50% on this hopefully depending on how these barbarians up here do and how these archers right here do these archers get shot at then it's gonna be over with uh, we got 50% up top so we can go ahead and in right now because they're all done so that was a good raid. Look at that. <laughs> if we'd found that one before, we wouldn't have needed a third attack. Uh, let's go ahead and fill these up just to train up so that I can raid with them later. We'll train up that as well. Train. <laughs> Lightning spells don't need to be trained. They need to be... What do they need to be? What would that terminology be? I don't really know. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and upgrade the spell factory right here. It's going to take two days. We're going to get heal spells, which is awesome. Um, and let's go ahead and do, oh, we can do two cannons. Should we do two cannons? How long does it take? A day? Yeah, we're going to do both cannons. There we go. No more builders for a day. Um, and two of our cannons are done. But then all of our cannons are going to be maxed for, um, Town Hall level six. And then our wizards are already maxed right now. We have one more mortar to max out. This one right here is maxed. So we're moving on up. It's so much easier and so much faster when you don't have walls to upgrade, but no big deal. Guys, this is almost a 15-minute episode. I hope that y'all enjoyed. We got a bunch of attacks in, and we were able to get uh, three upgrades as well. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for when it comes to um, raiding on this Clash Without Walls account. I hope that y'all enjoyed, guys. Definitely check out the stream. Again, that is twitch.tv forward slash gaming with molt i appreciate all y'all support i really do you guys rock i mean that and as always make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me right i'll see you guys later